At first, there was an interminably thick mass of issue. This mass went through an impact that achieved the plan of particles, stars, and frameworks that we can see today. For a long time, this has been the explanation introduced by physicists. At any rate, later research has introduced another perspective that proposes the universe doesn't have as early a start as at first acknowledged. Rather, it very well may be essential for a repetitive cycle in which the universe goes through a movement of patterns of augmentation and pressure, possibly in a circle. Brian Cox, a lofty physicist, has a dubious outlook on the hypothesis of an ancient infinite explosion, fighting that something can't rise out of nothing. This examining adds a beguiling part to the discussion. Moreover, research from the James Webb Telescope has revealed information that conflicts with the probability that the huge explosion signified undeniably the beginning of the universe. This prompts the focal question, if the colossal blast was not the beginning of the universe, then what was? Go along with us on this outing to the beginning stages of the universe, where we will explore the edges of the colossal blast and reply to this request. If you are enthusiastic about staying up with the latest news about the universe and its natural factors, get involved with our channel. Raise a ruckus around town like button, share this video to contact more people, and turn on the notification bell. Scientists have cultivated a point-by-point -point understanding of the universe in its earliest stages, known as the hypothesis of the universe's beginning. As per this model, the universe was significantly more unobtrusive, more sultry, and denser than it is today. Around 13.8 billion years ago, during that period, all of the parts that make up our existence were formed in an issue of minutes. In this speculation, our universe, including stars and galaxies, was once essentially as little as a peach and had an inconceivably high temperature of over a quadrillion degrees. Inquisitively, this astounding story changes reliably with all ongoing insights. Astronomers have inspected everything from the rest of electromagnetic radiation of the early universe to the flood of the lightest parts and have seen that everything agrees with the estimates of the colossal blast to the best of our information. This depiction fits the reality of our universe immaculately. At any rate, no matter what its reasonable power, we understand that the hypothesis of the universe's starting point isn't the complete picture. There's an unaccounted for piece of this puzzle, and that part is a cognizance of the key depictions of the universe. This challenge is expected, in enormous part, to the obstacles of the genuine speculations we currently use. The blend of general relativity and high-energy particle physics outfits us with a significant theoretical framework. As we dive further into the hidden depictions of the universe, the mathematical multifaceted nature increases significantly, arriving where our progressing systems can't give critical solutions. One indication of this inconvenience is the presence of an eccentricity, an imprint of perpetual thickness around the beginning of the tremendous blast. This thought proposes, in a strict sense, that the universe was once compacted into an endlessly little and thick state, which appears to be ludicrous. To address this challenge, we need to examine new backcountry in physics and develop a system that survives these limitations and gives a more complete understanding of the essential instance of the universe. Our continuous instruments and theoretical systems are not adequately powerful to address this test, so we want to cultivate new physical science that can incorporate and check out gravity and the other key forces at very high energies. This is precisely where string theory comes into the picture. This theory attempts to be a real model fit for uniting gravity with the other essential forces, especially at super high energies. Basically, String theory posits that it can give a clarification for the essential depictions of the universe within it. String theory arises the possibility of an aeon, which takes its name from the Greek word meaning arrangement or age. This idea suggests that the huge explosion, as far as we may be concerned, was the result of an earlier event, recommending that it was not undeniably the beginning but perhaps a piece of a persistent association. Expanding the possibility of an ionic universe has prompted the improvement of a connected theory called cyclic cosmology. Although the plausibility of a cyclic universe has been considered for quite a long time, string theory provides a strong foundation for this idea. In the framework of cyclic cosmology, the universe functions like it consistently influences between gigantic impacts and collapses in an unending cycle that broadens unfathomably into the past and future. This theory of cyclic cosmology was proposed by the popular physicist Roger Penrose, who was awarded the Nobel Prize. 
Penrose was fascinated by an astonishing mathematical connection between the early universe, described by outrageous thickness and power, and the future state of the universe, which is depicted as freezing, expanded, and without issue. The speculation suggests that these two states become mathematically vague when pushed to the limits. In spite of appearing to be confounding, the complete shortfall of issue could be the fundamental power behind the development of all the matter we see today. As indicated by this perspective, the tremendous explosion begins from what remains almost enigmatically after all the matter in the universe has been consumed by black holes that eventually disseminate into scattered photons in an immense void. The universe rises out of what, from another point of view, essentially approaches nothingness. Although this nothingness is still a type of something, a genuine universe, albeit a vacant one. The mystery lies in how a similar state can be deciphered as both a cold void universe and a thick universe depending on the perspective. The key to this figuring out lies in a complex mathematical technique called the conformal change, which is a numerical transformation that changes the size of an object while preserving its shape. Roger Penrose showed that the cold void state and the hot thick state can be connected through the scale change, changing their spatiotemporal plans in spite of their disparities in size. Anyway, Penrose contends that the idea of time loses its significance under these breaking point conditions. In cyclic cosmology, the succession of events comes to pass from an old cold state to a youthful hot state. The presence of the hot and thick state is the result of the previous cold and void state. Anyway, this causal relationship doesn't follow the ordinary idea of time, since in these outrageous states both size and time lose their typical implications. The cold void state and the hot thick state exist on discrete timelines, which means that according to the perspective of an eyewitness within its own period of time, the cold empty state would continue endlessly. Physics and reasoning are joined in this area of cyclic cosmology. It gives theoretical and point-by-point -point clarifications for the start of these cycles. Anyway, whether or not Penrose's thoughts gain support in cosmological advances, a deeper philosophical query still waits about the start of actual reality itself. How did these cycles appear? This leads us to consider the support for the presence of something other than nothing, which is one of the key powerful questions for our purposes. We will zero in on clarifications within the space of physics, and there are three potential outcomes to consider in investigating the starting points of these cycles. First, there may be no great explanation at all. Second, there could be an interminable series of cycles, where each cycle addresses an alternate universe and the introductory quantum state of each universe is somehow still affected by some part of the universe that went before it. Finally, there is the choice of a single cycle in a repeating universe, where the beginning of the cycle is made sense of by some part of its own end. These conceivable outcomes are engaging since they stay away from the requirement for uncaused events and provide a more perplexing clarification within the genuine structure. In the space of physics, Penrose proposes the possibility of a never-ending series of cycles impacted by his interpretation of quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, an actual system exists in various states at the same time until it is observed. So, all in all, it randomly falls into a solitary state. Penrose proposes that each cycle is influenced by random quantum events that lead to variations between cycles. This thought opens up promising opportunities for testable physics as it proposes the possibility of identifying subtle traces or anomalies in the residual radiation of the tremendous explosion. The mission to comprehend the starting points and nature of the universe has been a central quest for human interest and logical inquiry for hundreds of years. From old philosophical theories to modern cosmological theories, mankind has consistently tried to unravel the mysteries of existence itself. With regards to contemporary stargazing and cosmology, the examination of galactic origins has prompted huge revelations and captivating hypothetical structures that challenge our key understanding of time, space, and matter. One of the getting through questions that has enraptured physicists and cosmologists alike is the nature of the universe before the Big Bang. While the hypothesis of how things came to be has given a convincing clarification for the development of the universe from a hot, thick state to its current extensive construction, it leaves open the topic of what went before this amazing event, if anything. The idea of a pre-Big Bang time raises huge philosophical and logical suggestions, pushing the limits of our insight. Embracing a few hypothetical models have been proposed to address this question, each offering special bits of knowledge and viewpoints on the early universe. 
One such thought is that of the multiverse, which posits the existence of an immense group of universes, each with its own particular actual properties and fundamental constants. In the multiverse system, our universe is only one among many, each arising out of various starting conditions and governed by its own set of physical laws. The idea of a multiverse emerges naturally from certain interpretations of quantum mechanics and cosmological expansion theories. According to inflationary cosmology, the rapid dramatic expansion of space-time in the early universe could have led to the creation of pocket universes within a larger multiversal landscape. Each pocket universe would have its unique properties, formed by random quantum fluctuations during the inflationary epoch. While the multiverse speculation remains speculative and challenging to test, it offers a captivating answer to the adjusting issue in cosmology. The apparent unlikelihood that the crucial constants of nature are impeccably tuned to permit the existence of complex structures, such as worlds, stars, and life itself. Another convincing thought that challenges traditional views of cosmic beginnings is that of eternal inflation, proposed within the framework of inflationary cosmology. Eternal inflation suggests that the universe goes through a limitless succession of inflationary stages, each leading to new regions of space-time with possibly unique physical laws. In this scenario, our observable universe is only one of innumerable regions within an ever-expanding cosmic foam. The idea of eternal inflation raises significant questions about the nature of time and causality in the multiverse. If inflationary bubbles constantly give birth to new universes, the possibility of a singular beginning or ultimate start becomes increasingly elusive. Rather, the universe appears as a dynamic and ever-developing entity embedded within a larger, infinite tapestry of inflationary growth. Lately, Advancements in theoretical physics have also sparked interest in alternative cosmological models that challenge the conventional account of cosmic origins. For instance, some researchers have explored the probability of a cyclic universe, where the Big Bang is not a unique event but perhaps one stage in a perpetual cycle of cosmic evolution and contraction. According to cyclic cosmology, the universe goes through successive cycles of creation, development, and destruction, each ending in a big crunch followed by another Big Bang. The cyclic universe theory draws inspiration from ancient cosmological ideas and modern theoretical frameworks, like string theory. Within the framework of string theory, which posits that fundamental particles are not point-like objects but rather tiny vibrating strings of energy, the idea of a cyclic universe arises naturally from certain formulations of the theory. String theory proposes that the universe might exist in higher-dimensional space-time, where patterns of expansion and compression are a result of the interplay between fundamental forces. While the cyclic universe theory remains theoretical and faces significant challenges in terms of observational evidence and theoretical consistency, it represents a bold attempt to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity on cosmological scales by proposing a continuous cycle of cosmic rebirth. Cyclic cosmology offers a tempting possibility of a universe without a definitive start or end, where each cycle builds upon the remnants of its predecessor. Nonetheless, theoretical models and observational cosmology have also provided crucial insights into the early universe and its development over vast timescales. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, radiation in the 20th century provided compelling evidence for the theory of the primordial cosmic explosion, offering a snapshot of the universe when it was only 380,000 years old. Detailed measurements of the CMB by satellites like the Planck Observatory have enabled scientists to map variations in temperature and density across the early universe with remarkable precision. Additionally, observational cosmology has shed light on the large-scale structure of the universe, revealing the intricate web of galaxies, clusters, and vast filaments that span billions of light years. By studying the distribution of galaxies and measuring their redshifts, Astronomers have been able to trace the expansion history of the universe and infer its age, composition, and fate. One of the most captivating discoveries in observational cosmology is the presence of dark energy, a mysterious form of energy that permeates the universe and is driving its accelerated expansion. First inferred from cosmic explosion observations in the late 1990s, dark energy comprises roughly 68% of the total energy density of the universe making it the dominant component of the cosmic energy budget. The presence of dark energy presents a significant challenge to our current understanding of fundamental physics, as its origin and nature remain poorly understood. 
Some theories suggest that dark energy may be a manifestation of vacuum energy predicted by quantum field theory, while others propose modifications to Einstein's theory of general relativity to account for the observed acceleration of the universe. In accordance with observational efforts, physicists are actively searching for new particles and interactions that could provide clues to the fundamental nature of dark energy. Furthermore, other significant mysteries, such as the Large Hadron Collider LHC, at CERN, aim to test the frontiers of particle physics by colliding protons at extreme energies, potentially uncovering new physics beyond the standard model. Moreover, advancements in astrophysical instrumentation have enabled researchers to probe the universe across various frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Observatories such as the Atacama Large Millimeter Slash Submillimeter Array, ALMA, and the Hubble Space Telescope have revolutionized our understanding of star formation, galaxy evolution, and the astronomical distribution of dark matter. Looking forward, the upcoming generation of observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and the Square Kilometer Array, SKA, promises to provide new insights into the early universe and its key constituents. These cutting-edge instruments will enable scientists to study the first galaxies, test the epoch of reionization, and search for traces of primordial gravitational waves left over from the Big Bang. In conclusion, the mission to grasp the origins of the universe represents one of the greatest intellectual challenges of our time. From ancient myths and philosophical inquiries to modern scientific theories and observational discoveries, Humanity's exploration of cosmic origins has yielded profound insights into the nature of reality itself. As we continue to push the boundaries of knowledge and investigation, new theoretical frameworks, observational techniques, and experimental advances will undoubtedly illuminate the fundamental secrets of existence and our place in the universe.